Mr. Chai, are you listening? Waiting to strike. Now this is important. All you need is to subtly... Critically acclaimed and much hyped, despite being shadow dropped by its developer, Hi-Fi Rush has garnered a reputation as one of 2023's most addictive games. And now, the bombastic rhythm action adventure is finding a new crowd to please via Sony's current gen console. Announced only recently following Microsoft's unveiling of a multi platform plan for some of its Xbox exclusives, PS5 players don't have long to wait before they can see what all the fuss is about. Here's 15 things to know. What is it? Unless you spent 2023 under a rock, you'll know Hi-Fi Rush. Its comic book art and pulsating actions synced to pumping soundtracks positioned it amongst the most memorable games of last year. A toe-tapping action brawler, Hi-Fi Rush spotlights wannabe rocker Chai, who possesses a heart-infused music player following an experiment gone awry. Together with his ragtag mates, Chai jumps, kicks, twirls, and moshes to the beat as he topples a malevolent megacorp. Part of Microsoft's multi-platform strategy. Ha! Well, while you've been dealing with my distractions, I've been working on a pit project. Something with unrestricted creative freedom! If you spent February under a rock, okay, no more rock analogies, you'll be unaware that Microsoft announced a multi-platform strategy for games which they're dubbing their legacy titles. The games confirmed for rival consoles so far, while not Halo or Gears or another befitting the destination legacy, include Sea of Thieves and Hi-Fi Rush with historical murder mystery Pentiment already available. Arguably the pick of the bunch, although many of Pirate's MC of Thieves' 35 million players would disagree, is Hi-Fi Rush, and while seemingly perfect for Nintendo Switch, is PS5 only for now. Developed by Tango Gameworks Yes, that Tango Gameworks, known for The Evil Within and Ghostwire Tokyo. Hi-Fi Rush's vibrant cell-shaded vistas and sunny metropolises couldn't be further from the twisted tension of survival horror or paranormal surrealness of neon-daubed streets. It's such an about-turn, in fact, that Hi-Fi Rush portrays Tango Gameworks as a studio with supreme confidence in their abilities. The game's publisher, in case you're interested, is Bethesda Softworks. Yes, that Bethesda Softworks. Difficulty Modes You'll begin your Hi-Fi Rush journey with four difficulty settings available. Easy, Normal, Hard, and Very Hard. Difficulty settings impact the usual stuff. Damage received, enemy health, health pickup availability, that sort of thing. They also influence rhythm timing margin of error, easing the timing requirements for some actions. After completing the game, a fifth Super Hard Rhythm Master setting is unlocked which, aside from reducing aforementioned rhythm timing, presents you with a game over if your rank falls below a specific grade during combat. Accessibility Settings Hi-Fi Rush was nominated for Innovation in Accessibility at last year's The Game Awards, and a glance through the wealth of accessibility settings on offer, it's clear to see why. In essence, while the game is a relentless rhythmic experience, Tango Gameworks want to make an experience approachable to anyone, regardless of musical skill. Rhythm visualization, for instance, provides a visual representation of the music's flow via a pulsating environment, UI indicators, and glowing metronome companions. Colorblind modes, font size adjustment, auto action, available for players who struggle with complex button commands, and single key rhythm, mapping all rhythmic button combinations to a single press, round out the game's accessibility settings. DualSense Support Back in January, Hi-Fi Rush received a one-year anniversary update. Included in the patch was DualSense support for PC users, and beyond the basic change to on-screen controller icons, this update offered support for adaptive triggers and haptic feedback. Hi-Fi Rush's PS5 version also seems like it'll take full advantage of the DualSense's unique features, given that the PS Store listing describes it as having vibration function and trigger effect support, although this hasn't been confirmed by either developer or publisher yet. Two Playlists 
Expected with any music-based video game is a banging soundtrack, and while some might argue Hi-Fi Rush's playlist is dated, it undeniably features some cracking tunes. Streamers, of course, cannot broadcast with a playlist of licensed tunes given the chance for copyright strikes, so Tango Gameworks have done them the service of recording a separate streamer-friendly list. All gameplay updates included. Hi-Fi Rush on PlayStation 5 will include all of the gameplay updates and modes added to the game since its debut early last year. This includes the Arcade Challenge update, a free edition arriving last July which provided new game modes, steeper feats to overcome, and all new challenges to complete for fresh rewards. BPM Rush the twist on Boss Rush, BPM Rush, sees Chai face off against waves of enemies with each new surge of opponents ramping up the music's beats per minute. The post-release gameplay mode came with an arcade challenge update and features familiar foes alongside some new creations, with the pumping tempo reaching a breakneck 200 BPM. Power Up, Tower Up Post-game challenge Rhythm Tower undergoes a dastardly difficult spike in Power Up Tower Up, a mode included in Arcade Challenge update whereby you'll begin with a depowered Chai, but after every successful round will slowly be able to reinvigorate his skill set with selectable abilities and upgrades. Costume Pack DLC Available to purchase at launch, but not something that can be pre-ordered via any deluxe edition, is the Costume Pack DLC. These bonus outfits are extra expenditure on top of the base game, but featured within is a set of additional cosmetics for Chai and his bandmates, with each look inspired by one another. For instance, Chai can dress as his floating cat companion 808. Each costume features interchangeable parts and a matching guitar too. Photo Mode Hi-Fi Rush's in-depth photo mode provides a bunch of cool ways to tweak the look and feel of every capture. For example, giving you a chance to create the ultimate selfie is the ability to adjust Chai's pose and facial features, and even bring in other members of his crew to produce a fantastic group shot. Editing effects include color filters, focus depth adjustment, and film grain. In-game screen effects can be toggled on or off too. Pre-orders are live. Yes, pre-orders for Hi-Fi Rush PlayStation 5 release are live right now. Alongside the base game version, there is a digital deluxe edition too. Pre-order the digital deluxe and you'll get your hands on some cool bonus items. Two extra outfits for Chai, an alternate skin for 808, plus an 808 themed guitar, seven bonus Chai t-shirts, and a Gears starter pack containing 20,000 Gears. Gears are obtained through combat and exploration in-game anyway, with Gears acquired spendable on combat skills and upgrades, but it'll be nice to have this sizable head start. Physical Edition Incoming Limited Run Games have been distributing physical collector's editions and merch for non-mainstream games for some time now, and it's great to see them on board for a Hi-Fi Rush physical edition. Both PlayStation and Xbox players will be treated to something special here, with Limited Run Games often including anything from soundtracks, figurines, display cases, art books, accessories, clothing, as well as unique or rare cover art in their releases. Pre-orders for Hi-Fi Rush's physical edition are not live yet at the time of writing this feature, but Bethesda say it won't be long. Release date Not long to wait now, PlayStation players. Hi-Fi Rush's PS5 version is out on March 19th at midnight UTC, which for those in the US is 8pm EST. And with that, we reached the end of the video. Have anything to say? Let us know in the comments below. Also, we upload new videos every single day on Gaming Bolt, so please consider subscribing as it really helps us out. Thanks for watching.